Hello my dear this is Uchal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial I am going to share with you about upward balancing force right so what is this basically this is a force right and uh, yeah, if you are new it's totally newbie and you don't know about this topic and directly you have landed on this page then let me share with you this is a topic of casting so basically what happened we uh, we do casting right we used coal material and uh, here what we have to find out the upward balancing force in the cavity okay uh, probably because of that uh, molten metal probably because of that uh, you know core material and uh, all things together responsible for this so basically this is due to by suppose that we are denoting this by f then we know that f is equal to v into g don't worry i will show you what about this rho m minus rho c what is F upward balancing force? What is V? Volume of the core. What is rho m? Density density of the molten liquid metal. And what is rho c? density of the core material and g you know 9.81 meter per second square yeah focus on unit because unit play most important role to solve the question right away okay so this is all about all things in case of the formula for finding out upward balancing force is here now what we can do basically basically in gate they have as question related to this formula that's why i am sharing with you with you that the formula is this now what next how it would be quite helpful for you that is practice so I am going to share with you a numerical problem which already has been asked in GATE previous year paper related to this topic only. So are you ready to go to learn for learn that problem? I am sure you are ready, right? So let's go for it. All right, what do you think? Th nothing is changing. Don't worry. I am just going to change it. Okay, here is it. So here is the question in front of you right now. You can read the question and you can solve the question. Can you solve it itself? Okay, try my dear. Just pause this video and try if you can. Otherwise, don't worry. Just keep watching. I will make you understand each and everything what you need to understand in this topic, right? So what we got here. In sand casting of hollow part of lead, a cylindrical core. So first of all, we need to know everything. I mean every formula about cylinder just like here most useful thing is volume because they have said that volume of the core is required to find out what to find out force upward balancing force so here is the net force we have to find out in Newton so we got the formula F is equal to Vz density of molten metal minus density of core okay so uh, v we don't know we have to find out g 9.81 rho m 13 1130 minus 1600 so v into we can solve this till now just we need to find out volume then we can get the answer of it right so what we require right now for solving this can you guess oh Yo, yeah you are right calculator so 11300 11300 minus 1600 is equal to 9700 multiple 9.81 yeah so what we got here 95157 let me repeat it again 11300 is equal to this much 9.81 and remember this all is in SI because we have given kg per meter cube kg per meter cube also we have to find out in SI because we have to find out force in Newton remember that now I will go for the question whole question then I will try to solve it so in sand casting of hollow part of lead a cylindrical core of diameter so its diameter is how much 
120 mm and height is 180 mm so its height is 180 now you can see the question if anyhow we can able to get the value of volume we will get the answer right volume must be in SI that means in millimeter cube right and now the biggest problem is here right now not it's the biggest problem but probably it can create a biggest problem for you if do if you don't know the conversion from unit conversion right so i know what is milli everybody i know everywhere you know also what is the milli millimeter right so what we got till now we got here that a cylindrical core cylindrical core whose height is 180 mm and whose diameter is 120 mm so most important what we have to find out that is we have to find out volume of the cylinder now most important what we need to, I, mean, I mean how we can find out we need to know the formula we need to know the formula for finding out volume of the cylinder so the volume of the cylinder formula is <coughs> pi by 4 d square into h okay so pi by 4 d square is what 120 square h is 180 again i will i am going to ask you a simple question what do we required right now can you guess you are right we required calculator to solve this so 120 whole square into 180 is equal to this much into pi divided by 4 is equal to how much it's a, okay let me write 336 so we can say 2.0357 into 10 to the plus 6 millimeter cube right 10 to the plus 6 millimeter cube got it now we have to convert this into meter cube now as you know 1 meter is equal to how much? 1000 millimeter. Then 1 millimeter is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter. Now what we have to write here, I am sharing you each and everything, right? Okay, so 2.0357 into 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. I am just putting the value, this value here. That's why I have shared. Are you getting my point? Yeah, I hope you are getting me. That's why you are watching. Otherwise, you could, I mean, you could go somewhere else. You could watch some any other video, maybe song and all this. Okay, no problem. That's the, your problem. Let's solve the question, right? So, probably you will be in. Okay, no problem. Let's solve the question. So, what we got? 2.0357 into 10 to the power 6 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter cube, right? Now, what we can do, we just need to add here. Yes. So 2.0357 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. So what is this? This is in meter cube. That means this is volume. So what is, I mean, whose volume is this? Core. This is the volume of cylindrical core. Right? I hope you understand it. Now what we have to do, what we, what we are going to do, uh, what we are exactly going to do with this volume, we have to put value, this value here. Right? So let's put this value 2.0357 into 10 to the power minus, uh, sorry, minus 3 into 95157. If I did not uh, do any mistake in the calculation, then probably I am going to get the right answer. So what I am getting here, this is in Newton because we did all in SI. I mean, we we have changed all in it into SI. That's therefore the answer is what we got here: 193.7111 Newton. So can you match the answer with with which option we can see the answer right now? It's A. So A is the right answer for this topic. Now let's overview this topic again. That's why it, it will be in your mind for little long time. If you'll do revision, watch my video or write down all these things on your paper, that would be much better because paperwork is also important. So here is the video, here is the uh, formula again. So what is the formula for upward balancing force? That is B, that is volume of core, not velocity, it's volume of core. Remember that G acceleration into gravity and rho m minus rho c that is density of molten metal uh, minus 
molten liquid metal you can say that minus density of the core material so this is all about upward balancing force and how i have shared with you i mean how you can solve numerical problem i have also shared with you so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye